the choice of numbers I use for my grid is not cast in stone. This is relative to the screen I'm using because I'm currently using a 4K screen. By the time I move this Affinity Designer software into my Mac, which is a Retina display screen, you would realize that this grid will change and I'll have to adjust it to suit that screen. So it's not cast in stone. So you just have to do what you need to do for your own screen. So now we've been able to establish that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. For within the boxes, we want to have like three divisions within the boxes. So we have stuff like that, as you can see, three divisions. So with this set, we can now go ahead and begin to work on our design. So first off, we need to also establish what color we want to work with. So we will just identify some of the major colors already existing here. I will try and see how we can create our own colors within it. So we have a navy blue. We have um, we have a sky blue, or we have a sky blue. That's this. We have a sky blue, and we have a baby blue. We have a baby blue have a baby blue and then we have black we have black this is not supposed to be 100 percent black so then we have black and of course we have um another shade of this blue so i'll just duplicate this guy here so we have another shade of this blue i'll give it this color and then just trying to capture what we have here all right so we are going to replicate this and give it our own color so already we know white white is a thing so so in this case we will just work with um, say this color just changing this color same thing applies to this color uh, maybe maybe this color then let me just adjust the service I'll, I'll adjust everything later well i just establish this color so I need to adjust this so that it's not Yeah, I think this works and then this has to be a bit light so that it's not interfering and then black which is supposed to so my black hair would not be core black I would give it a 1c 1c kind of black okay I'll, I'll leave that to one to one to one so we've established this so we go ahead and also see how we can establish the fonts we want to use so in this case I'm not sure what font they used here, but I would like to use the font. Let me call this font. Um, move it back here. Did you see what just happened? Great. I would like to use this font, and this font is going to be. Let's get a bit um, creative here. For headers, we'll use leaks pattern, and then for for body, we will use for body fonts, we will use open sand. Okay, just duplicate and give this open sand. Regular. I'm gonna do open sand regular for the body, and so it's not going to be caps. So we'll just change this to header text. Let's, let's work within a reasonable size this is the header text so for this header text we will be using 24 for the name and then if we divide we duplicate this and divide this into divide this by the golden ratio of 1.618 i have the text for inside the the boxes the the what's it called the cards that we can see here 
then we can now have the one that that looks like a subheader because this particular phone leaks pattern does not have um, a semi bold or what i have right here is just um, the one that looks like a bold we will work with a font size of 16 to see if we can capture the header clap the header here that speaks the subheader here that speaks to the cards below the fonts will be using inside the text and we'll just call these fonts and we'll give it a font size of four okay inside the text we could give it a font size of 10 so there's one for 10 inside the text and there is another for 16 and do we want to make it bold let's make it semi bold awesome okay so this is the main header uh, and we're just gonna work with what we have here say hi max so what we want to also do if you look closely we want a situation where we can give two boxes from the left two boxes from the right so to a larger extent we won't be bothered about how where to position words by default the grids are already giving us how to position them then we have this font we want to use for for the for the date here we will be very mindful of our positioning so that we we are on course we say 28th november here. so let's establish what shade of black we want to use here we'll duplicate this and then we we'll tell ourselves we want to do that shade call it that shade the next thing to do is to create this profile picture so zoom in um, apparently it's going to come in here so come here two boxes from the left we still work with the three dimension box so this is what we have and you can now see we want to use this so let's give this a curve edge just like we have in our original design so at this point i'm just going to create what looks what would look like um, an image not exactly this image I'm searching for headshot in pixabay and what do we have this looks more like it this looks more like it need to align it to the left okay ideally what i would have done would just be to to create something else but just create like um, a vector silhouette of head shape of the head and body and just put it there but since we have something working uh, we'll just run with this moving on we want to create this bounding box here i guess and um, this okay you see how the boxes are snapping to the grid it makes it a whole lot easy for you to you know identify where to where to drop the boxes and the likes so there you are so at this point we will use the darker shade as, as seen in the app then we'll come back here and create second header text okay this is supposed to be for this we also give it two up two down give it a white color and then say welcome continue your courses i'm aligning this to the top here so that it's counting from here so i'll work with this first let me establish this first take it up we'll give it an outline of white color and then we'll give it a curved edge just so that we're on course so we can come in here 
and say get started get started let's align this Let's go to the stock image, click on vector, let's say scroll, scroll, we have something here and boom, um, we're also still going to take two steps from the edge, click, paste and like we always do, position it. So we have your courses, we have your courses, courses, we're still taking note of our, um, what's it called, still taking note of our grid. So at this juncture, we would have to give this a color and there you go. Let me zoom out. Okay. In this case, I think I have to change the color of this and then let's make this white. Cool. That's what I've been trying to do. Oh, there's something slightly different. You understand to lighten it up a bit all right that works okay so we have this to work with and um, so as it is we would focus on focus on this ones and we'll take it just the way we have it here that's a little too much yeah and we'll call this UX UI paste. We'll come here. We'll give it. So this is going to be the time when it will be happening. Thirty to zero nine West African time. So we're making progress, I guess. Let's try, Let's try this, this, this. I'm going to give you that color. Play around with the bond boxes. Do you understand? All right, so with that being said, I'm going to duplicate this and give it that tone. Give it this tone and we'll see. Okay, okay. So with this, I'll group and then I'll find a way to put them inside this curve. All right. Of stuff with a bit of attitude. Okay, this is a better vibe. Let's go bring in play button from our um, what's it called? From assets. Uh, I think it's towards the end. Yeah, we have it. So this is our play button here. Let me zoom in so we can see clearly what we're doing. And don't forget, we are still trying to work with our boxes. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to we're trying to work with our grid we've created. So maybe we'll put we'll put a circle around it just for the sake. 
so that it actually looks like a play button. We're almost there. We're almost there. So we have. So let's not forget what we're doing here. So we have this. Mm. Okay, and then we can give it this color. This color. This color. Duplicate this. Put them in a group. Put this in a group and then duplicate. Now I'm not even thinking how I want to duplicate it. I just know I need to align it to the grid such that it's like two boxes from the right. So that way I'm rest assured I'm not making any mistake. You dig. Okay, so let's call this um, typography. Typography. Call this typography. Let's move this guy. Let's give it two. Okay. This guy. This guy. Let's redo this one. So give this guy two. But one thing I want to do is before I begin to replicate all of these things, I want a situation where I would have been able to identify which one is the card you want to prompt the user to click to start with. Let's call this web development. Let's call it front end dev. Let's say this is 10 to 1, 13. So in this case, let me see if I zoom this scene. If I if I lens it out, if it has any major impact. Okay. Come here, we'll give you the screen. Great. Okay, then so if I swap it, does it change anything? Yeah. So okay. Alright. So Kind of replicate this here. Okay, so let's call this um, typography before. Yeah, and then we will go on to still, you know, still duplicate this, give it a two, and here you go. We'll probably call this um, call nography, and then this will call this graphics. Graphics. We may want to. We may want to adjust this. From 
the design we already have we also want to be able to identify the card you want the user to to go to first like more like you are guiding the user as to what the next steps are okay so yeah this works so at this junction i would like to also give this a bit of a shadow okay so we have we have an offset that's that's too much offset i mean when you work with shadow you have to be very very careful so you don't overuse it uh, you just have to be subtle else it becomes something else it has to be subtle or else it will become something else uh, let's push it out a bit and then let's reduce it this I think this is good and then let's give it a radius to work with we'll just keep increasing it until we have something very okay um, I think I think this this works to reduce uh, yeah I guess we are done here we've been able to see how we can replicate this and give it a vibe of its own for whatsoever reason I do not know where this was done this initial screen was designed but one thing is very very certain that you can also do something similar to this on affinity designer that will be all for the session.